Jimmy Dean, and uh, I wish I could tell you how I feel about a morning like this. And that includes a good hearty breakfast. If you need something to kind of warm the whole body up and get it going. Mm. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to a fishing episode. And as you can tell, starting off the day right with Jimmy Dean biscuit sandwich thing, you know. So, we are making a collaboration with 806 Anglers. We're going to try a unique catfish bait challenge that I don't think anyone else has done on YouTube, though. It's going to be a first. Make sure to like, subscribe before we begin anything, and see you in the next scene. Lady dude. Good list, bro. How you been? How you been? I've been good. You yeah. been good? Yeah, I've been good. 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 You ready to go catch some fish? Let's go catch some fish. Let's go catch some fish. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Get your s*** in the back and go. <laughs> Start my intro. Well, I'm gonna start right now because look at what we're using. This is what we're rocking with today. Awful uh, dark Dude, that meat. That looks disgusting. It looks disgusting, but maybe that's what the catfish want. Catch you know? cook. <laughs> but one thing that's also interesting that also might be a challenge is that, uh, well, we have backup bait. We have plenty of backup baits. We have what chicken livers, chicken breast. What, what same you same got? Seven salmon chunks, but we do not, we do not have corn or worms. And normally you wouldn't catch me dead without those two baits, but we have everything else. And uh, this is my most productive catfish specific bait. Then we, of course, we got some. What is up, guys? It was the same Welcome back to another video. I already hate this. And we got Jake here. Thank man. you for ruining my intro. Oh, okay. sorry about that. <laughs> But, uh, so it is a trend to uh, start intros when the other person is doing the intro, so we're going to do our own intros. Anyway, these are sparrow breasts, and this is the main challenge today. We're going to make... <laughs> this, I can't take him seriously. Anyway, we're going to... We only have two, so it's gonna, it might be a short challenge. It might be a all-day challenge. Who knows? But we're going to use bits and pieces of... Why did you just throw out there? And see if we can catch a catfish on it. If we catch a catfish on it, challenge complete, and we can use... Dip bait, salmon chunks, chicken breast, whatever else we have. But for now, we're gonna start with this. On, got my Saint Croix ultralight, ten foot ultralight. It's perfect for situations like this to really get out there. Sorry about the wind in advance. It's really windy for a up like this, but on sli on a sliding sinker rig, we're gonna rig up right quick. Let's just get this over with. Golly, he tugged in everything. And who wants to bet what he bit? Never. It needs to happen on sparrow breast though. I don't know what's going on here. I'm rigging up some sparrow breast right now. I'm about to fall and I'll see y'all on the other side. He better not catch one while I'm gone. I probably will, but he's going over there. Probably will. Okay. All right. So we're armed with just the long rod. I'm gonna scale this hill. Basically what I just told Albert's subscribers if y'all are subscribed to albert and not subscribed to me what are y'all doing with y'all's laughs for one my content is so much better it's more diverse we run to and hunt so make sure to subscribe but we're about to go catch this bullhead real quick it would be killing two birds with one stone or killing me in the process because we'll get some we'll get some bait we can cut up a bullhead and it has worked for channel cats and B will get the challenge done. So make sure all y'all stay tuned. Bit on the sparrow, the sparrow boob. Oh no, I had him. We'll call it sparrow boob now. I want to call it sparrow <laughs> but that's pushing the uh, guidelines, you know. Got him on the sparrow breast. On the sparrow boob, and we have bait, my G. Yeah! Look at that, it's hanging out of his mouth and everything. That's a good little bait size to use. Look at that, on the sparrow breast. You can use anything to catch these little suckers. <laughs> How fun is that? And there it is right out of his mouth. We're gonna go catch some channel cats now. So, we'll meet you at the top of the hill. Wait, shoot, what? I was casting this out, right? <laughs> Seriously? Look over, that was slack. Oh. There's a fish on there currently, but it's stuck. Oh, well that's not good. We don't but want that. You can watch it for a little bit, and then it'll just kind of just... That... Jake just caught a bullhead that I'll cut up here in a minute for bait. Yeah. I'm going to see what Albert did to my fish. Where it's stuck right here. That's a turtle. Oh. What the heck? 
Boy Scout turtle. How do you feel? Um, I feel disappointed because it's not a channel cat. Yeah, unfortunately. I just I really hate turtles right now. Come on now. There he goes. Okay. See ya. I am so glad that is over. So you may be wondering why I have this rod. Well, this is my punching rod. And I call it punching because we use punch bait on this rod. And how do you use punch bait, you ask? Well, I'm not associated with these guys, but this team catfish has it figured out. So take a treble hook. This is a bear treble hook. You can use ones with the accessories on it, but I'm just gonna punch it in there and then stir. This is why it's real important to have a stick because you do not want to touch this stuff with your hands. The point of this bait is to stick to your hook. Super, sti It's super stinky, but it's super sticky as well. So I can just pull that out. Maybe get a little bit more in there. Yeah, that's about what we're looking for. We're gonna sail her out there. Just get something new. We really have nothing left to lose. Look at that, did you see that? No, it's just the wind. No, uh, it's a wind. That's my line, bro. Guys, got him, go. got him. Can we just say, oh, it's a bullhead. Goodness, of course. And it swallows the freaking hook on the liver, bro. Where's my date nose? Well, I'm gonna rip this guy's stomach out and I don't give a crap. Oh, it's supposed to work. Yeah, bye. I doubt that's a cat, it might be a turtle. Probably, you got some going on there. I think, that's what I'm saying, I think it's a turtle. Y'all wanna see a turtle? Cause I got one. Yeah, bigger. <laughs> Yeehaw! Uh, I hate turtles, man. That doesn't look like a slider. Oh, yeah, there, there, there it is. No, it's a slider. Well, we can catch turtles, but we can't catch a channel cat. We can catch turtles all day. We can go turtles all the way down. Shout out, Sturgill Simpson. Sorry, bud. You're... Oh. No. I don't care. Fine, have that hook. POS. Keep it family friendly oh, careful oh, you're oh. next they're gonna defund you next <laughs> all right we're closing out our morning shift and our only shift for today we got a challenge complete though we didn't catch a channel cat but we caught a bunch of turtles and we caught a bunch of bullheads not a bunch but you, you get the idea we caught things so i do thank this man for tagging along and i appreciate y'all for tagging along if you want to keep tagging along make sure to subscribe like this video for sure um, we'll probably do more challenges like this very odd oddball challenges but who knows you can see that in the future make sure to subscribe get us to 300 please let's go to 300 and we'll see you next time a bad day of fishing beats a good day of anything else